welcome back to my channel. I'm going to take you guys along for a full day of eating, just like a full day with me, six weeks out. We got cardio this morning. I had it out for a couple of days because my digestion had been off. I didn't have a bowel movement for like two days. Saturday was a long travel day that you saw in my last vlog, and that really put a damper on digestion. Usually it does for me though. Like typically anytime I travel, my digestion is just not th that great. Even in off season, I am very sensitive to my environment. Um, but we're back on the good foot and cardio is back in every day. I'm checking in with Danielle every day. So I'm gonna walk Illy. I'll send check-in photos to D and I'll um, put them up on the screen. And then we'll go do cardio. And then I need to wash my hair this morning. I didn't wash it last night because I've been prioritizing my sleep. And when I say prioritizing my sleep, like legit, I will give up things like washing my hair to go to sleep. So I'm going to go to school with wet hair, but it's fine. I'm also probably going to get Starbucks this morning. Because it's Thursday and a couple of my students got me a Starbucks gift card. And I have just been craving it. Like a venti cold brew with cinnamon powder. Ugh. So, I'll keep you guys updated. Um, but yeah, I'm a walker. Check in, get this cardio done, and you'll probably see me when I'm on the way to work. I lied, I am back from cardio, and since it's a full day of eating, I was like, I have to show you my morning digestion drinks. There's two. So, the first one I'm going to show you is the cold one, which I used to hate, but I figured out a trick so that I like it now. So, let me show you. So our first one we take, let me change my thing to ounces. I do two ounces of aloe juice, liquid juice. I don't know, like, yeah, you know. I do one ounce of apple cider vinegar. And then I do half an ounce of lemon juice, okay? I get these all from Fresh Market usually, just cause the quality is like the best. And I like that they come in the glass jars and it makes me feel fancy. Okay, so this is drink number one, but to make it better, I've been putting this Crystal Light Blackberry Lemonade in here because it helps cut the apple cider vinegar flavor. And the lemon juice in here, it makes me think that it's lemonade and it's just a pretty color. So this is drink number one. Drink number two, I take, it's just a magnesium citrate or citrate, however you want to say it, but I just get the vitamin shot brand, Calm. Um, you can get, like, the name brand is Mag Calm, and I used to do that. But when I went to vitamin shop last time, these were BOGO 50% off, and the dude was like, why don't you get that? It's literally the same ingredients. And so I looked, and I was like, oh, bet. Okay, so I saved, like, I don't know, 10 bucks. Um, so I do five grams in the morning and three grams in the evening with hot water it makes it like a tea i don't know it's a warm drink it's nice i was doing this every day at the beginning of prep and then we stopped because i didn't really need it um but since my little escapade this weekend where my digestion went off we added it back in because it just keeps things moving and grooving the, the citrate the magnesium citrate one um that helps like calm your digestive system so it helps you have a bowel movement. Okay, let's just be real. So she's been my friend recently. And then I'm gonna go ahead and prep my half and half to take to Starbucks with me because I'm not getting creamer at Starbucks. I'm just gonna bring my own. So I do 30 milliliters of this in the mornings. Bam. Um, so yeah, it's just organic valley half and half. I've been enjoying having her in my mornings, to be honest. So, those are my drinks. Now I'm gonna get ready. Um, and then I heated up my water in my kettle for the magnesium drink. You can do it cold, but you need to start it off warm to activate the magnesium, and then you can add ice after. I just drink it warm because it's so nice. And the one I have is like a raspberry lemon flavor, so it's kind of like a tea. I really enjoy it. So now I'm actually going to get ready for work, and I will see you when I'm at work with my coffee. She, in fact, is not going to Starbucks. 
I underestimated how long it would take me to wash my hair and fully get ready. Um, so I made my own coffee this morning. I'm not mad about it. I was prepared. It's not my French press, but I had Starbucks brand cold root in my fridge for days like this. And I was like, when I'm like, ah, I really want to get Starbucks cold brew. But then I ran out of time because I had to wash my hair. It is what it is. Anyways, typically I try to leave my house at 6.50 and I have to be at work at 7.20 and it is 7.09 and I need to be there in 10 minutes and it's like 13 minutes away, but it's fine. Happy Thursday. Illy chewed up my shoes this morning. She's never chewed on anything like that, so I'm nervous. She's also started chewing on her bed, so I've thrown that away. I ordered a new one on Amazon that she can't chew. So, if you have dog tips, send them to me, please. I think maybe she's mad at me because I'm, like, I was home for a week for spring break and now I'm, like, gone every day. I don't know. It's a little stressful. But, anyways, I'm going to go to work. Prayers that I don't hit every red light. And, regardless, I'm still thankful for a beautiful day. Here I have 100 grams of berries, 40 grams of oats with cinnamon powder. I had a student in here, so I couldn't really talk over it. And life of a teacher, you always have students around. So this is lunch, 100 grams of rice, 100 grams of green veg, 160 grams of chicken, and then obviously a diet root beer. We are off work and headed home. Um, I know you saw my meals, but I couldn't really speak or annotate what was happening, narrate what was happening because I had children around me. Um, bam. So for breakfast, I have two eggs that I eat cold because I prepared them the night before. And yeah, I'm psycho. I eat them cold. I really don't care. It tastes fine to me. And then I have 40 grams of oats with some cinnamon powder, hella cinnamon powder and 100 grams of berries. I just buy the big bag of frozen berries from Costco, and they're delicious. Not Costco. Sam's. We don't have Costco here. Um, and then for lunch, it was 100 grams of jasmine rice, 100 grams of greens, which I do green beans, or this week I did green beans. I'll switch between green beans and asparagus. And then 160 grams of chicken, and I topped it with hot sauce and mustard because that is my fave and I get pink salt on everything um even though I made my own coffee this morning I really did want Starbucks so I did uber eats it to the school so I uber eats a venti cold brew with cinnamon powder to the schoolhouse and I had that but I had all my coffee before 10 which is usually my goal because I've been doing that recently to help with sleep and it honestly has helped with sleep. That along with my blue light glasses that I wear in the evenings and throughout the day. Um, but those are the first two meals of the day. I'm headed home now to walk Illy. I'll show you my third meal. I'll go train and then you'll see my fourth meal. Meal three about to go down. I've got 50 grams cream of rice and cinnamon powder. And then I'm gonna add a scoop or a serving of the raw isolate protein and I say a serving because when you do a scoop it ends up being like way more than a serving you if you're in prep if you're a lifestyle person you do you but in prep I weigh out my scoop so I look on the back and see the serving size for one scoop is 35 and 7 tenths grams so I do 36 grams so I put it on my scale it's on my scale okay move the lid I take the scoop out zero out your scale and then you're gonna scoop out the however many grams it says is a serving. So I'm gonna scoop out 36 grams. Okay, and that's a serving. Because if I do a whole scoop, it ends up being more than 36 grams and like you're not gonna get consistent amounts each time you scoop out because you may scoop like a little more or less each time, whatever. So then I mix this in and I'm gonna top it with 50 grams of banana and pink salt. And that's gonna be my pre-workout meal. I'll show y'all when it's done. Here's the pre-workout meal. Cream of rice, chocolate protein powder, and then 50 grams of banana. I freeze my banana and then put it on top. Um, so I like break it up into chunks, put it in the freezer, and then that's what I use for my cream of rice. So I'm gonna eat this, and then we're gonna go train legs. I am absolutely in love with my life. I'm leaving the gym. Um, I made it like a quick, just like go in get as good a connection on legs as possible 
get out. I ended up supersetting my last two exercises, which were gladiator and um, hack squat. But I've put in good effort and I've got good connection, so I'm not mad about it. And I did pack my meal four, which you'll see in a second, so that I could eat on my way home, so that I could still get to bed before 9.30. Um, so last meal is 300 grams of yogurt and 100 grams of pineapple. I had a very busy afternoon with some exciting things that I can hopefully share soon. Ah! Like life is not real. Last meal of the day, like I said, 300 grams of um, vanilla Greek yogurt, 100 grams of pineapple, and of course cinnamon and pink salt. I'm gonna eat this, head home, get some shut eye, and get ready for tomorrow. We're home. I just got inside from walking Illy. I'm making my nighttime drink and I'm currently baking some chicken. I was going to do it in the morning, but I decided to go ahead and do it tonight because I feel kind of energetic and I'm just going to set my alarm so that I get um, seven and a half hours of sleep. Um, so like whenever I'm probably going to go to bed at 10, so I'll set my alarm for about 30 and I'll do like a little bit of cardio. I won't get to do it all because I'll have to like, oh, I'll have only 30 minutes. I'll do a little bit and then I'll do the rest after push mm, is what it is. Sometimes I slip my cardio up. It's not like my favorite thing to do, but I have the ability to do it and tomorrow's Friday, so it's going to be okay. Um, that way I'm just prepared for the whole weekend. So yeah, we have to be adaptable. So we're being adaptable and I... Just feel a sense of gratitude. Look at my beautiful flowers. They're from my aunt's baby shower. If you watched last week's vlog, that's where I got them from. And they're so cute. I love also decided I'm going to vlog tomorrow's full day of eating as well. So you guys get to see both of my full days of eating. I have a meal plan for my legs day, leg days. And then a meal plan for my rest and upper body training days. So you guys will get to see that one tomorrow because I'm training push. And I check in tomorrow. I'll see you guys in the morning. Bye. Good morning. I was able to finish 110 out of the 450 calories because I didn't have a done. I literally had like seven minutes this morning, but it's fine. I'll get the 340 done post training this evening after push. Um, but I'm just pumped. I started reading Alex Hormozzi's book, The $100 Million Offers. Um, and it's so good. Like, I didn't think I would be a little business book reading girly, but like, it's good. He's very, he's a very well-spoken person. Like, like the way he writes, it's very clear, concise, um, very inspiring. So I love it. But yeah, we are headed back up from cardio. I'm going to have my morning drinks that you saw yesterday. And then I'll show y'all like breakfast and lunch. The really thing that's only different are my, um, meal two and meal three. So I'll show y'all this. Woke up at 135.4, which is kind of where I've been hanging out. Well, yesterday was 136.4, so technically I'm down now, but 135.4 has been like my low this whole prep. I'll put check-in photos here. And yeah, let's have a wonderful day. I'm gonna make warm coffee today. And I'll show you how I do my um, half and half because I froth it with like pink salt and cinnamon and that with like the salted caramel flavored coffee is chef's kiss. It's so wonderful. So I'll see you there. It's coffee time. So I've got my French press. My grounds are in here. So I'm just going to stir them up before I press on down. Okay. And we're going to press. This is the most lovely part. Boom. Okay. Now we get our milk frother. Here she is. Set her on the scale. Zero her out milliliters because we're doing 30 mils. Boom. Next, open the cabinet. Cinnamon powder. Y'all know I live and die by cinnamon powder. I put it on mm, literally everything. Pink salt. Hear me out. My coffee flavor is salted caramel. So adding a little bit of pink salt. Uh-oh. Adding a little bit of pink salt into my creamer. It's phenomenal. Okay. 
Now she's ready to be frothed. So we froth. Oh my gosh, she's gorgeous. Coffee cup from Target, my favorite, and it's pink, of course. French press coffee. Yum. Yum. Frost milk or half and half, whatever. Ugh, that is gonna be quite good. Delish. All right, let's go to work. I'll see you all there. You know, one, same as yesterday, but I got two eggs and a lunch bowl. So, black rice, slippery, um, 150 grams of lettuce, mustard, and chicken. We're off work, and I had a call with Danielle, and oopsie doopsie. Um, I, my meal plan that I have today is supposed to be my meal plan every day. So, when she sent me the update, I didn't realize it was all days, not just all non-leg days so that was a silly mistake um so the meals that you saw yesterday yeah those are no more what you're seeing today is my actual like current full day of eating just thought y'all should know because i just found out today too that was my fault but that's okay we're on the good foot and we're gonna keep trucking along we're gonna make our meal four which is gonna be our pre-training meal so I'm going to have 40 grams cream of rice and then I'm going to have 100 grams of asparagus and 160 grams of chicken. So for my cream of rice, let me measure it out first. Okay, so we're going to measure out 40 grams. 40 grams cream of rice. I'm going to go ahead and put my cinnamon powder on top, okay? So I add it before I cook it. Sometimes I'll add it after, but I've been adding it before and I think I like it a little bit better that way. Then I add my water. There's no magic amount. I just get it to where I can fully cover the rice and like mix it in. Honestly, I've been adding a little extra because it makes it a little more fluffy, a little more voluminous. And I will stir this up. And then you do three rounds of microwaving. The first round is going to be a minute and 30 seconds. And then you'll stir. The second round will be 60 seconds and then you'll stir, and then the final round is 30 seconds. But you have to watch it or it will spill in the microwave. So this is after the first round of microwaving. Again, you need to stir, break up all the clumps in the bottom. I'm stirring for like 30 to 60 seconds, making sure that I break up all those little clumps. Again, it should just kind of stir like soup right now, okay? I'm gonna put it in for another minute. And here I've got my chicken, 160 grams, and then 100 grams of green beans. I weigh my veggies raw, so what I do is I, sorry, I'm looking at my cream of rice, so it doesn't spill over. I will like pre-weigh my pack of green beans, so that one I think it was like 400 grams raw. And then I cook everything, so I baked it all, and then I weighed how much, then I took the weight of it cooked, okay, and then I divided it and I got, it was like a 42% ratio. So instead of tracking, like instead of weighing out 100 grams of green beans, I weigh out 42 grams of green beans because the 42 grams cooked was the same as the 100 grams raw. And I need to track the 100 grams raw. This is after the second round. I feel like I totally have my teacher voice on because I've seen so many people mess up cream of rice or say that they don't understand how to cook it or it never turns out good. And here's your excuse or here eliminates the excuse of you to say it doesn't turn out good. So after that minute, I'm stirring it again. I'm breaking up those clumps, okay? I'm getting the water pushed into all of those clumps. It's almost ready. After this, I will do the final 30 seconds to heat. And just like that, we have perfect cream of rice. Now I'm heating up my chicken and green beans. And to my cream of rice, I'm just gonna add a little bit of stevia and then some pink salt. All right, chicken and green beans, and you know we're talking with the classic yellow mustard. Yum! I like doing this because it's like two separate meals, um, savory and sweet. So I'm going to enjoy this and then go train push. We're home from the gym. Yay! We're home! 
So we're gonna make our meal four. I'm gonna do 300 grams of the Dannon Greek Light and Fit Yogurt and 100 grams of pineapple with cinnamon and pink salt. The huge. She is beauty. She is grace. I'm gonna eat this. Mm. Walk Illy and then we're going to bed. That is delicious. Push day is up, posted on my Instagram. So go and check it out. Speaking of, if you haven't already, head over to my Instagram um, and I will reach out to you. I love meeting you guys and getting to chat because a lot of us are like in the same situation as like um, a new competitor or you've competed before. So like maybe you could teach me something. Um, but yeah, my DMs are always open and even if you don't reach out to me, I'll reach out to you first because again, I just love connecting and building community in this space. I think it's just so wonderful that we all have the same passion or similar passions. So if you haven't already, head over there. Um, so again, if you're new here, thank you for joining. Thank you for watching. If you're returning, I love you so much. Thank you. I appreciate every single one of your support along this journey. It has been so fun and we're literally like just getting started so i'm excited for the pace to pick up and let's see how we look in five weeks okay thanks guys wherever you're at i hope that you're having a wonderful day a wonderful week i hope that you feel fulfilled and loved and blessed and at peace and i can't wait to see what this wonderful life brings you thanks for watching see you next time bye